morning, good afternoon, and good evening, listeners, from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world. Welcome to Verdict TV, and thank you for tuning into this channel. The news headline Invite Kanu, Asari, enemy of the government, Indigo tells Tinubu. Once again, you're welcome to today's news. Kindly listen to the end. The news details. Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Oaneze Indigo Youth Council Worldwide, has expressed outrage over the attack on Maz Namdikano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, by ex militant leader Asari Dokubo. The Igbo group out President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to ignore the likes of Dokubo and invite Kanu for a roundtable discussion. Daily Post reports that Dokubo had, while speaking to journalists after a meeting with the President Tinubu, branded the IPOB leader a criminal. He also told Tinubu not to release him. His statement has continued to draw the are of indigo with many accusing him of reaching beyond his bounds in a statement issued on sunday by the national president of the oaneze indigo youth council worldwide mazi oku nabueke he accused dokubo of being sponsored by those who want to destabilize president Tinubu's government who is dokubo and why is he actually involving himself in the Inam Dukano's case, is he not a, also a criminal? Let's ask that question. Was he not a former ex militant? And for you to be an ex militant, that means you have actually destroyed, killed, and stolen. So you don't even have the effrontery, you don't even have the mouth to even say that one person that did not even do um, what you have actually done is a, is a criminal because you yourself is a criminal and Nam Dikanu has not done anything for him to be considered a criminal. So um, we remember that Asari Dokubo actually had a closed door meeting with, um, with the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinobu. And after this meeting, um, Asari Dokubo actually told the press when he was being interviewed that um, he, he actually spoke to the journalist that and, and branded IPOB as a le- IPOB leader, Namdikano as a criminal, that Tinubu should not release him. What he actually told the journalists were that um, Namdikano has actually um, has actually is actually involved in the killing of innocent people in the southeast because of this IPOB or Biafra as a whole. So he said because of that, uh, Namdikano is a criminal and should not be released. Now. The um, Indigo, um, the, the social cultural organization, one is the Indigo Youth Council Worldwide, has actually now uh, um, involved themselves and spoken about the attack of um, Mazenam Dikanu by the um, ex militant leader Asari Dokubo. Because Asari Dokubo now is attacking um, Mazenam Dikanu and make him look like, making him look like he's a terrorist or he's a. Um, a criminal, making him look like he's a criminal. That's what Asari Dokubo is actually make, uh, making it look like. So, um, um, this youth, the youth council, um, their chairman, which is um, the the Mazi Oku, the national president, which is Mazi Oku Onabuike of the youth council worldwide, was the one that actually spoke and accused Dokubo of being he said Dokubo is being sponsored by those who does not want peace and want to destabilize President Tinubu's government. And that's true because what is Asari Dokubo's concern with um, Namdi Kanu? Like, there's nothing that brings them together. There's nothing... Like, Asari Dokubo does not even have any business to do with Namdi Kanu. So why is he involving himself in the um, discussion concerned with Namdi Kanu? He should just keep short because he's also a criminal is a criminal and is an ex-militant he has committed a lot of crime so tinubu even if 
someone is not supposed to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone. It's supposed to be Asari Dokubo. Tinubu is not even supposed to involve himself with him because he's um a past criminal. We don't even know if he's still a criminal. But for the fact that we know that he's an ex-militant, he's a criminal. And Tinobu should not involve himself with him. But since Tinobu already had a round table discussion with him, then why can't Tinobu have discussion with Namdi Kano, who is not a criminal? So um the youth council, the president of the youth council now is saying that Tinobu should not even mind what Azai Dokubo is saying. And he should try to have a round table discussion with Namdi Kano. And he's going to see that this man is as innocent as a dove and he does not have anything to do with criminality. And his hand is very clean. So Tinubu should actually have a round table. I also support. Instead of just um because it was not even Tinubu's administration that arrested this man. So for Tinubu to know the way forward, he should have a one on one conversation and come to an agreement with um with Mazinam the Kano. Instead of just keeping him in the custody of the DSS when he's not even a criminal. What's your view concerning this news? Kindly share your view in the comment section and don't forget to like and share and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates. Thank you for listening to the hand.